Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is time to continue our career, our playoff run on National Hockey League 23. Goalie be a pro right now. We are 2-0-1. That one, devastating. If you saw last video, you know what I'm talking about. Let's just say that hopefully I'll be a little bit more hesitant from now on and make safer plays. <laughs> that pretty much gives it away. If you haven't seen it, then you know it was my fault. We're all the way up to 83 overall at the moment, which is very fire. And let's see if we can continue our dominance over the Edmonton Oilers in the simulation. That's a good start. 1-0 for the Golden Knights after 1. 3-0 after 2. I don't know how we're doing this, but we're doing it. All right, need to, to get loose here. Need to get some stretching in. And hopefully, Timothy Jimothy can play all right. It would be pretty devastating if we blew a 3-0 lead in the third. But... It's possible, so don't get me wrong. I I know this game's not over. It's far from it, actually. Pool party goes over to McDavid, who takes a shot, kicked aside, but Leon is there to get the rebound in the corner. Oh no, that's a good shot. Pool party ripped one top cheese, and that's gonna beat me on the glove side. So there goes the shutty, but I don't care about that. The lead's down to two. I'm, I'm so happy we were up by three, honestly. It would have been devastating if they were only down by one right now. My positioning there was not it. So, yeah, I'm going to say that that goal was mostly my bad. Oh, no. Oh, no! Yes! That is a massive redemption right there. I needed that big time. The cross crease pass, and I was there for it, baby, right in the oven mitt to keep this game at a two-goal lead, thankfully. It does always feel like in the playoffs, the CPUs are just way better. I don't know what it is, but they just find whatever way possible to be insane all of a sudden. Maybe it's like a momentum thing, or because it is playoffs, I don't know if they have that programmed into the game where, oh, it's playoffs, maybe we should play a little bit better because it matters now. I don't know what's going on. 12 and a half to go. We still have the insurance marker. I thought Cody CC was going to take that away from me, but no. He tried to shoot it through probably the biggest crowd on planet Earth, and it didn't make it. Shocker. Oh, no. That's a big hit. And Pool Party has it again. The man, the only one that scored on me so far in this period. Dry sidle. No. Nope, nope, nope. I had it held down, and I decided against it. Absolutely not. I'm not letting that happen again. I mean, to be fair, last time was just a horrible call on my part. There was literally a player right in my face and his stick was also right there so yeah that was just stupid on my part probably would have been safe making the pass there but now i'm scarred so <laughs> i feel like i have to wait a little bit you know time heals all so maybe just maybe we'll warm up to playing the puck again but right now absolutely not big draw win here we need it we need to get the puck down they have been putting up pressure non-stop we do win the draw and we have a clear chance to get the puck out and failed miserably for a moment. But we did redeem ourselves, much as TJ did with that cross crease glove save. So that's good stuff. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Oh yeah, you're right there. No, dude, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Well, team play out the door again. Thankfully, I think that was White Cloud. He was in front of the net. I think so. That was him. But he stopped that pass from going through, which was huge because that would have been another cross crease chance. And even if the goalie is... Sort of expecting it, and plays to that. A very decent chance it goes in the net still. We're now down to four minutes in this third period. Edmonton has had some more chances, no doubt. But TJ has stepped it up since that first goal. That pool party was able to rip past him on the glove side. And speaking of, here come the Oilers again. Back to the point it goes. Leon's playing defense all of a sudden apparently I guess maybe nurse rushed up and he covered for him pool party goes to take another shot from the opposite side but the defense shut him down this time they saw what happened last time clearly and they were like mm, uh-uh McDusty takes a shot that will be kicked aside now pool party tries to do something with it fails oh no we're taking a penalty that's not good at all there is still enough time for them to tie this up no doubt in my mind all right 55 seconds and we're down a man. But this means we can send the puck down the ice without an icing. So in a way, is he just chirping the fan? What was going on there? Not good. Not good at all. But if we can send it down the ice here, we will kill a decent amount of time. Really? Really? You had literally one job. And you could not do it. Tons of time as well. It's not like they were pressuring you. 
And please, thank you, Alex, once again. Now we're getting the hang of it. We're sending the puck down the ice, as we should, considering it's a playoff game. We are up by two goals, and, you know, they have the man advantage. So if they score a goal here, there's not a ton of time left, but they could still pull something magical off here. At this point, I think it's pretty much done, even if they do get a goal. Oh my days. They wouldn't have had enough time to come in and score another one, but I just only wanted to let in one goal, honestly. They had 26 shots as well, so that is a stellar performance and a save percentage redeeming performance, nonetheless, from that guy right there. And now this begs the question, will we start round two in this video or will the Edmonton Oilers live to fight another day? Let's find out. We are back in the desert. Home ice advantage will be in the hands of the Golden Knights. Let's go ahead and simulate this game and find out if we can once again continue our sim dominance over the Edmonton Oilers. I'll take that. It is 3-2 going into the third period with Edmonton season on the line. If I have, it's been a while, but I don't think I've seen a simulation as dominant as we have been over the Edmonton Oilers. Like I've just been confident at this point that we're gonna be ahead going into the third period. That's a big hit from Yessi. Pool party, come on Stone. What a play, great save by Luke Conan. Oh my word, we have another chance here. No, we don't, not really. Nice passing, let's go. We are playing so good right now. Keep it up guys. Even he's scarred from passing, Never mind, he did it. Oh no, Bouchard has it in the middle. He goes for a high glove shot. I passed it out, I've done it. I've just done it. Oh no? What's going on? Please, not like this. Oh my word. That was scary. Those are normally the ones that find their way into the back of the net. But not this time. This time, TJ emerges victorious. Where's his help? There's literally nobody helping this guy out. <laughs> Cop went in, battled for the puck, and the rest of the team's just sitting back in awe. Like, wow, look at him go. What a workhorse. And they forgot that they're playing a hockey game. Yeah, yeah. And please be there. Thank you. Don't do that. <laughs> Holy crap, man. What is with our team making the riskiest passes they possibly could? There's so many other options right there. I guess our squad just loves to live life on the edge. Flying poke check. Get out of my face, jabroni. If we do manage to make it past the Edmonton Oilers, I wonder who our second round opponent will be. Because we might have looked at the playoff tree, but I don't remember it if we did so i have no clue what's in store for us next but let's get there first and then worry about that honestly their tendy's giving them a real shot here because we've had some great scoring chances haven't been able to bury one yet so at this point in time i would say he's the only real reason that this team stands a chance of winning this hockey game otherwise we would have ran away with it a long time ago pool party manages to get it back to bouchard oh no don't let him shoot the puck what a play. That is some mathematics right there. Goes off the boards for a pass to McDusty, who's battling for it. Spurgeon, you got to win that. No, no, no. You can't be doing that at a time like this. And the puck gets out. Fire me vertical. Nice save. I thought he was going to go for the cross crease in all honesty. And I wouldn't have had it. I just expected the defense to have McDavid there. Probably not a good expectation. Holloway makes a move. What a move at that. Finds Yamamoto in the slot. Who? Ah! Not like this. Yep. Smothering it all day. We got this, Knights. Come on. There's not too much time left now. We got to win that draw, and we managed to do it cleanly. a boy, Jack. We're headed up the ice now. Very questionable pass. Gains the blue line, and then just absolutely fires it out of the blue line. Don't know what's going on there, but I mean, hey, look at the situation we're in now. Clearly, I should not be judging his decisions. And he scores! And he scores! Andrew Kopp, five hole, I believe. What a nasty goal. That will bring the Golden Knights to a two goal lead over the Edmonton Oilers with not much time left, honestly, in this third period. I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna get ahead of myself and say we are in round number two with an easy round one W 
over the Oilers. 228 to go, no shot they tie this up. No shot. Their goalie's been pulled, and we are heading up the ice with the puck. Patrick Kane just misses the net. That would have been game over guaranteed. But the Edmonton Oilers do still have a chance here. I'm quite confident that we're going to win. But I'm just saying that the chance is there. They're not done yet. Oh, no. What a play, and what a save by Timothy Jimothy. Right into the mitten. And that will keep that two-goal lead that we need right now. You know what I just randomly thought about? You know how you can send the puck down the ice when you're on the penalty kill? What if they made it so that you can't do that as extra punishment? It's like, you took the penalty, so no. I'm not going to let you ice the puck all of a sudden. You're down a man. All the same rules. Interesting. Food for thought. That was a good shot by Leon. And TJ just managed to find it last second, tipping it wide with the glove. We got... A few seconds to go here. Another save by TJ. And the Golden Knights are moving on to round number two. With, as I said, a dominant W over the Edmonton Oilers. We only lost one game. And that was my beat. Third period collapse. And then an absolute overtime howler. I went to pass it and shouldn't have. McDavid was standing right there. But let's go. We are moving on to the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Good series, Oilers. I mean, not really. You did get destroyed, but you know, I'll be a good sport or whatever. So I guess it's about that time. Let's find out who our round number two opponent will be. And let's play the first game against them. Stop the simulation. It's gonna be the Seattle Kraken, the other most recent expansion team. And they swept the first round. Oh no, that's right. They have Bedard and they have Pasta. So we got to be worried about that right there. They've got Marcus Kolsnick, who put up 73 points. He's 86 overall. Val Nichushkin, amazing hockey player. They got Tim Winston, Yanni Gord, Favre. Okay, so they have a pretty good team. Who's their goalie? Billy Huso. All right. Ranta backing him up. It's a pretty good duo. Let's see how game one goes here. Can we jump to an early series lead? Hopefully we can. one nothing after one. 2-1 after 2, but not for the good guys. I guess this would be our first playoff game coming into the third period. Not in the lead. Yeah, because I am quite confident that... What a move by Pasta. The entirety of season round... What am I saying? I can't even speak, sorry. They're like generating an attack here. So my brain just went to mush because I am in pure focus mode. Oh no, Pasta's walking out. They are all over us right now but anyway as i was trying to say the entirety of round one we were in the lead going into the third period so this is not a good start to round number two but we'll make it work a save through the crowd blocker we'll direct that to the corner we got to get something going here because right now we have nothing the seattle team seems to be stepping up all the time as well like they give us no room whatsoever Let's go! No! What a save by Villy. That's outrageous. We could have just tied this up. But that goaltender single-handedly prevented us from doing so. That sucks. Nachushkin goes for a centering pass. And Arvidsson will be there to pick it off. Come on. We need a goal here. We really do. I don't want to leave it to last second. What an individual effort from Jack right there. But Villy Huso once again is there to meet the challenge. We are playing well, I can't lie, ever since the start. Because at the beginning there, we were getting dominated. I've never seen something like that in my life. But yeah, we're, we're coming back now, which is nice. We're waking up a little bit here. Oh wait, was it against Seattle and Vili Huso that he passed the puck out with like three seconds left and let us tie it up? I think it was. Maybe he'll be ever so kind to donate another goal. Veneers had a great chance right there. But TJ was able to make the stop. Both teams getting some wonderful opportunities. But still, no goals have been scored yet in this third period. We really have to be on edge every time this pass the line is out there. Because they generate chances every second. It's crazy. Less than two minutes to go. Still down by one. All right, let's see if I can pull myself. Does this work by skating over to the bench or are people trolling? It doesn't work. They are not pulling me. Not much time remaining. That was a weird puck. 
I guess it went off a Petrangelo stick. It took a little skip and a hop, but thankfully, we were still there for it. But unfortunately, I don't think we're going to win this hockey game. I think we're going to be down by one against the Seattle Kraken here to start round number two. But that's okay. That's all right. We can come back from that. Certainly not the start we were looking for, but it was a close contest. You know, that was anybody's game, and I feel like we're still able to beat them. No problem. So Seattle advances to 5-0, undefeated in the playoffs thus far. We have a 9-10 and a 2-32. Pretty solid stats. The beard's coming in. Love to see it. Right now, Nate has 9 points in the 6 playoff games that we've played. Patrick Kane has 8. Stone with 7. Alex with 5. Let's go. Well, hopefully we can bounce back in the next one and take down Seattle. Give them their first playoff L and hopefully a couple more as well. Again, it's not like that game was a blowout. It was very close. We went into the third period with a 2-1 score and we came out of the third period with a 2-1 score. Lots of chances from both sides and just nobody was able to find the back of the net. But I think, like I said, I still think we are able to take down Seattle. They did finish one spot above us in the standing, so they finished second in the league, but I don't care. Technically, we could be eliminated in the next video if we get swept, but no, I refuse to believe that's gonna happen. And on that note, I'll see you soon.